Okay, previously we learned about the exponential growth model, and then we learned that the rate of change of a variable, so that's your derivative, right? So dy dt is proportional to y, or typically that's your population. And if we solve this differential equation, this is the solution that we get to. Now, this graph typically looks like this, right? This is your ex typical exponential growth graph. It starts out slow, but it grows very quickly, and it goes up forever. Now, most things in life do not actually, or in nature, do not follow an exponential growth model. It follows what's called a logistic differential growth model. And the idea is that you can have things that start out growing exponentially, so in this graph, but then over time in the long run, it's eventually going to level off. And the idea is because there's a limited number of resources, supplies, land, water, whatever it may be, okay? And then this is the differential equation that matches this model. So we are not actually ever going to solve this differential equation. What we need to know is understand the characteristics of the graph and what some of the numbers represent. So let's say we're talking about a rumor that spreads, okay? So in the beginning, if you look at this graph, no one knows the rumor, but then it spreads very quickly. But let's say we're talking about a rumor that spreads at Wheeling High School. Obviously, at some point, it has to level off. Um, let's say the population of Wheeling is about 1,800 students. So once everyone has heard the rumor, then that rumor stops growing. A couple noted things that you'll notice about the graph. Notice that it starts out concave up, then it's concave down. Notice the slope is always positive, right? But the second derivative would go from positive to negative. So right here would be your point of inflection. And the point of inflection is always going to happen at one half of the carrying capacity. And this 1800 is the carrying capacity, or sometimes we call that the limiting cap capacity. What's the biggest number you could possibly get to? So this point of inflection will always occur at one half of that limiting capacity. The other thing you'll notice is that right here at the point of inflection, and that's what a point of inflection is, is that's where the fastest rate of growth happens, or it's the biggest slope, right? When half the people have heard the rumor, that's when the rumor is spreading the fastest. And then after a while, the rumor is still spreading, but it starts slowing. The rate of growth, the slope, starts slowing down. So we need to understand the characteristics of the graph and then also tie it to the differential equation. This limiting capacity in this problem, that 18, is this number right here, that L.